On Tuesday, after more than seven years, the United States of America will end its combat mission in Iraq and take an important step forward in responsibly ending the Iraq War. As a candidate for this office, I pledged I would end this war. As president, that's what I'm doing. I've brought home more than 90,000 troops since I took office. We have closed or turned over to Iraq hundreds of bases. In many parts of the country, Iraqis have already taken the lead for security. In the months ahead, our troops will continue to support and train Iraqi forces, partner with Iraqis in counterterrorism missions, and protect our civilians and military efforts. But the bottom line is this. The war is ending. Like any sovereign, independent nation, Iraq is free to chart its own course. And by the end of next year, all of our troops will be home. As we mark the end of America's combat mission in Iraq, a grateful nation must pay tribute to all who have served there. Because part of responsibly ending this war is meeting our responsibility to those who have fought it. The wars in Iraq and Afghanistan now make up America's longest continuous combat engagement. For the better part of a decade, our troops and their families have served tour after tour with honor and heroism, risking and often giving their lives for the defense of our freedom and security. More than one million Americans in uniform have served in Iraq, far more than any conflict since Vietnam. And more than one million who have served in both wars have now finished their service and joined the proud ranks of America's veterans. What this new generation of veterans must know is this. Our nation's commitment to all who wear its uniform is a sacred trust that is as old as our republic itself. It is one that, as president, I consider a moral obligation to uphold. At the same time, these are new wars with new missions, new methods, and new perils. And what today's veterans have earned, what they have every right to expect, is new care, new opportunity, and a new commitment to their service when they come home. 